What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing The Doctor Is In, which is in Halo 2 beat the par score on Quarantine Zone. So start off this level, grab the ghost towards your right immediately, and we're just going to speed by a lot of these enemies to begin with. We're going to adopt the strategy we adopted last level, which is basically just going to speed through most of this level and then get a bunch of points at the end, and then hopefully we'll finish the level in time to get a pretty good time multiplier to enhance our points even more. So, just speed by everybody. Follow this path that I'm taking. We're going to wrap around to the right, and you could go all the way down if you'd like, but I like to do this. It saves a little bit of time. Just boost right off there. Uh, again, unnecessary, but if you want to save a little bit of time, you could do that. Uh, if you want to speed run the speed run way, which is awesome, you could go to the right. Um, I'm going to do this other way though, which is way easier. The super speed run way is not that hard. Uh, if you're good with ghosts, if you're halfway decent with a ghost, you could do it. Um, that is found in my actual speed run guide for this level, and also the Lazo guide of mine that I have up. But we're just gonna walk it. The method that I did not show here actually involves boosting over a crevice or a large gap. Uh, it's not too terrible, but it involves a little bit of practice probably. So. We're just going to do it this way, which involves no practice. Just follow the path I took, and you will despawn a lot of these enemies, and you can just run past most of them. Well, they're not even here to run past. And as you may have noticed, I've sped up some of these uh, segments throughout this level because there is a lot of walking, and obviously, you could do that on your own. You don't have to see how I walk. It's not, uh, you know, too complicated. Just hit forward on the joystick. But we've come to this part. I've resumed normal speed. And I'm pretty much just going to run past most of these enemies. You can take out a couple people as you go. But again, we're just saving up our uh, points for the end. One of the terminals is right here. If you want to get that terminal, if you haven't gotten that yet, it's right there. I just ran past it. I also have terminal guides up for all of the Halo games. If you're interested in those, obviously check that out. I have them on my channel. Just search for all terminals on my channel and it'll pop up. And you can always just type in whatever the achievement is called for most achievements. I have guides for most of the achievements up here. So just check out the channel. If what you're looking for is not here, let me know, and I'll surely put up a guide for that. The goal is to have an achievement guide for every single Halo achievement ever, including past games, including more obscure titles like Halo 2 Vista and Spartan Assault and Halo Wars and all that nonsense. So, But enough about other achievements. We're doing this one right now. So you can see I just ran past most of the enemies. I did start sorting... A couple of them as I went by. You do have active camouflage since you're the Arbiter, so use that when you can. I'm going to use it right up here. There's a bunch of enemies that pop up, and I have used it at this point. Unbeknownst to that guy, I was running right at him, and I just sorted him right in the face. Works like a charm. So there are three skulls that I have on. Skulls are ways you could get your points up, uh, the base value for every enemy you kill. So I have Thunderstorm on which promotes all the enemies. Uh, these flood forms aren't really affected by the uh, Thunderstorm Skull, so it's pretty much a free uh, point booster, so that's great. I also have Famine on, but I'm not really using any weapons, except for my sword, really, so that's kind of another gimme. And I also have on Catch, but none of the enemies in this level throw grenades, so that's also another gimme. So three easy Skulls to deal with. Obviously, Skulls in general make your life harder, um, but if you play it right, you could pick some skulls that are easy to deal with and get some uh, point boosters for like pretty much no reason. But we've reached the point where we are going to be getting a lot of points in this level. So you can see obviously I'm in the tank, run over here and grab the tank and there's a wraith you can take out and there's a handful of ghosts in this area. And the par score is 7,000, probably should have mentioned that earlier. But this whole section we're going into right now is full of a bunch of enemies. So we could really get our points up here. I'm probably going to hit about 10,000 points just in this area alone. I do end up knocking a lot of these enemies off into this crevice in the middle of the map here. So I don't even get points for those guys. But imagine if I did get points for those guys, I'd have even more. I am playing on Legendary because Legendary gives you the most points. If you want to play on a lower difficulty... Uh, you probably have to throw on some more skulls, or maybe you don't. Uh, you could probably do it on Heroic. This is a pretty quick level, so we should be able to get the time bonus, or very close to it. Very close to the maximum time bonus, that is. If you finish within the par time, you will get the maximum time bonus, which is a 3 times multiplier. So, I finish with around 10,000 points. So, since I come close to the par time, I get a time bonus of about 3. I think I come in at, like, 2.9, but whatever. 
the part time again is 15 minutes so finish in about that time you'll get the three times multiplier which is great it helps out a lot obviously we only need 7,000 I land with about 30,000 so obviously that's clearing the mark by quite a bit so you can see there's a bunch of enemies in this section you want to be wary of the wraith on the other side so I'm not moving forward yet because I don't want to take fire from every direction all at once that would not be a very smart idea the Wraith is the most dangerous threat, probably followed by the Gauss Hog being controlled by the Flood, which is just a horrifying prospect. I mean, who in their right mind gave them control of that? Thanks, Bungie. Great job. So the Wraith is pretty easy to take out once you're done with everybody else. You can just kind of cruise by and shoot him as you go. He has trouble firing at you if you're a moving target. So you can see we got a bunch of points already. Over the 7,000 we need, I think. Uh, I can't really see it when I'm recording commentary. I'm watching a very small window in this recording software. I cannot tell what the numbers say. Oh wait, nope. I think we just got over 7,000. Maybe. It's a very small number. But anyway, there's a bunch of other enemies in here. You can see there's that scorpion tank being controlled by a flood form. There's these enforcers who are not a lot of points actually, so you do want to kill them because obviously they're going to try to kill you, but... They are not the priority when it comes to points. You want to kill the ghosts, you can see you get a nice double kill and about 600, 700 points there. And the wraiths obviously are a money maker as well. So you can hang back here and you're totally safe from the wraith. He fires in arcs so he can't really get you through this uh, little cave here. But you can get him. So other ways to get your points up are obviously multi-kills, so like double kill, triple kill, overkill, and also sprees. Uh, so like killing spree running riot, etc. Killing frenzy. Also, if you die, you lose points, so try not to die. Because not only does it negate your sprees that you're on, it also, you know, you lose points in general. Also, don't revert to your last checkpoint. Because you lose points with that, too. But we're approaching the end here. Yes, we do have that large gondola segment, but we have a very, very handy and easy, anybody could do it skip. It's not a skip, it's more like a, uh, we're gonna get in a hiding spot and none of the flood forms are gonna be able to see us. So, they're just not going to be interested in us, and we can just cruise on to the end. But, I like to hop out here sometimes. Remember that you do have active camouflage, so I'm going to run over here. And, cloak myself. And you can see all the flood forms, like, what the hell is going on? And you're like, I'll tell you what's going on, I'm running past you. So, just run over here. I sped this part up a little bit. We're just walking over here, there's no enemies at this point. Uh, we have more than enough points to get our par score that we're looking for so cue the cutscene I skipped the cutscene and now we're on the gondola it is moving towards the library into the library so we can get the index but you just want to move backwards move to the back of the gondola the opposite side from which you spawned on and then just jump up on that railing then jump up here and you're just gonna walk forward you don't have to jump or anything just walk 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 and keep walking keep walking straight even when you start falling it's scary, I know. It's hard to figure out what's going on, but you're actually on top of the gondola at this point. You could see through the ceiling down at everything that's happening below you, but they cannot see through the ceiling up at you standing on the ceiling. So, you can move over this way, and at this point, you can't walk any further. They could actually see you when you're right here, but just hang out in the middle, and they won't be able to see you. And right where I'm looking right now is the Tartarus toy in this level. That's an achievement right there. I also have the guides for all the other toys and that Tartarus toy. So check that out as well. I got everything, boys and girls. What do you need? What do you want? I got candy. I got candy in the back of this van. I also have some ice cream. I got the Ninja Turtle ice cream with the gumball eyes. Also that SpongeBob ice cream bar equivalent and also the Mickey Mouse version. And I even have the Krabby Patties, those gummy Krabby Patties. I'm talking about achievements, guys. I have all your achievement needs. I'm not talking about ice cream. It was a metaphor, just, you know, if you're confused about that. But that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Click like and subscribe. Leave a comment, and I'll see you later for more achievements.